this is Alvin Garcia and welcome to another episode of Simple Steps. So today I want to talk about the difference between whole grains and the difference between refined grains and what are they. I've cut all these grains out and there's times that when I go to the restaurant and I see this loaf of bread I just want to just scarf it down and there's times that I go to people's houses for dinner and I see whatever they have whether it's pasta breads or, or rice even and I just want to eat the whole bowl and you know what I'm doing I'm really not doing anything good for myself because what I've done is because I don't know the difference between a whole grain or a refined grain and I know that one or the other is bad what do I do I give up and then when I see something I like I just go whoo, I eat it all up well I've done some research myself and I've been asking questions and there are whole grains that are out there they're healthy and they're good for you Whole grains are supposed to help you with lowering your bad cholesterol. Some grains are supposed to help you with diabetes. The purpose of a whole grain is that it's fibrous. The soluble fiber helps you stay fuller and it also helps you with cardiovascular diseases. Well, the list goes on as far as the benefits of whole grain. And I think the problem is, at least my problem, is that I can't define anything. So I go to the supermarket and I see, ooh, enriched. Come to find out when, they, when you see something that's enriched is they've taken out all the good stuff and sprinkled a little bit of good stuff back in. So it's really not a whole grain. Or I've seen things that says 100% stone wheat. And then when you read the label, you're going caramel, molasses. Yeah, what they've done is it's still white flour, it's still refined, and they've added color. So one of the things that I've learned as a simple step is you gotta read the labels. Sometimes the labels or the ingredients are deceiving and what you think is healthy isn't and then you're going, why is my cholesterol high? Why am I still experiencing some kind of sugar high? What, what's going on? Well, that's because it's not a whole grain. Unfortunately, marketing is wonderful. We tend to see it, we tend to buy it, we think, ha, the magic pill. Again, that magic pill comes up and it's really not good for you. But there is a solution, and I found a simple step. I was in the grocery store, and I found three products, and I want to share them with you because they're common products. Cereal, oatmeal, everybody, I haven't found anyone that doesn't like oatmeals, at least even if it's in an oatmeal cookie, and some bread. And what I found interesting is this label that reads whole grain. And I'll go ahead and, and show you what that label looks like. But what this label says is, if you're buying this, it's a whole grain. Aha, simple step. I don't have to read every ingredient in all the different breads. I don't have to look for different oatmeals. And there's a lot of oatmeals out there. All I gotta do is look at that label. Cereal, the same thing. All I have to do is find this label and as a simple step I can go ahead and cut time and effort and just buy what I need and take it home. Now caution, is it going to cost you a little bit more? Maybe, but anything healthy and worthwhile for my health, I'll pay the extra. Why? Because I know it's a whole grain. Why? Because I do miss my breads, I do miss my oatmeal, I do miss my morning cereal. And if I know it's going to be healthy for me, why not make the investment? So what I want to do today is explore the three items that I bought, I haven't opened them, my cereal that's a whole grain, my oatmeal, quick oats, that's a whole grain, and this interesting bread that's a whole grain. And it doesn't look like a, a loaf of bread, but let's see what things we can do with them and make them tastier, number one. Number two, make them good for us, and of course, enjoy the things that we love the most in life, our grains. So come and join me as I make a sandwich out of this bread, some quick oatmeal, and let's open the box and see what this cereal looks like. I've opened up the grain bread that I purchased, and again, it has that wonderful seal that gives me that peace of mind knowing that it is a whole grain. Now I wanna read this to you. Look what it says. No preservatives, good source of fiber, cholesterol free, natural ingredients, long shelf life, wheat free. And the funny thing is, is that I can probably go to the bread aisle and find another bread that has some of these qualities. And when I start reading the ingredients, I realize this isn't a whole grain. 
because they've added other stuff. And that, again, is marketing. Now, if you look at it, and I just wanna show you, it's a little dense, and that's, that's a good sign of a whole grain. It's dense, because you know it has lots of fiber, lots of good stuff in there, lots of whole grains. Now, I can either toast this one, or I can eat it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and toast one, and I'm gonna make a sandwich. I've decided to use an avocado, cucumbers, and I'm gonna make myself a nice vegetarian sandwich, and I'm gonna share it with you. So I'm gonna toast it up, and when I come back, let's see what it tastes like. So I'm ready to make my sandwich. One of the things that I haven't shared with you is I love sandwiches. I love a hoagie, I love a Subway, and that's one of the things that I've missed. I've taken a lot of refined grains from my diet, and that's one of the reasons why I did lose the weight and I started feeling more perky, is because I took away those white breads, those so-called whole wheat breads, and all that pasta. And when I started doing that, I realized how healthy I was feeling, and I miss my hoagie, I miss my Subways. I miss my sandwich, and I'm gonna go ahead and make a vegetarian sandwich. It's a quick, quick sandwich. I've taken an avocado, put some salt and pepper, I've cut some cucumbers up, a little bit of salt up, give it a little kick, and I've toasted the bread. And if you see, it's a little bit stiffer, just like a toasted bread would look and feel like. And now I am going to spread my avocado, just to show, and I'm going to put my cucumbers in there. I'm gonna put four, I'm gonna cut this sandwich in half. I'm really excited because again, I do love a good sandwich, especially when I don't feel like cooking. This to me is a dream come true. It's good. I'm not kidding, it's good. So if you're looking for bread and you're looking for a whole grain bread and you don't know what to do, simple step. Find that label, open it up, experiment. See if you like that bread. I am sure there's other breads out there that have that label. I chose this one because it looked interesting. I'm making my sandwich, I'm gonna finish it, and then I'm gonna see you soon. Thanks a lot for joining Simple Steps.